Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. We've got a Fallout 4. I know, brand new. I'm doing it for Maker Gen, and it's the Fallout 4 uh, event. I just have to make that clear. So, it's alright. Huh? Trends of Tomorrow, as I've got told it's called. And to be honest, it should already be trending today, considering it came out on the 10th, but oh well. So, well, enemies, fights, guns, everything. Fallout 4. To be honest, I want to know what everybody else thinks about Fallout 4, because I hear a lot of bad reviews, considering it's, I think, one of the best Bethesda games. It even beat Skyrim, and Skyrim was the best for years. Okay, apparently I can't pick any. Nice. Security door. Open the door. Oh yeah, plasma sniper rifle. That's actually a normal 308, but you know what? I really, I really want to know how. I've just got this. From, I just got that drop from a legendary enemy, and this thing's just amazing. I really, really want to know if anybody else has got this because I don't think it was that good because I had an original one that I've upgraded for like from bare bones. But it's actually really, really good, and that's really good as well. Setting people on fire. You know, I've played this through like three times because it's not recording properly, and I've got different loot each time. So if you guys ever want to do that, just come down to Poseidon's Reserve, Reservoir. It's right near Great Blood Mass Clinic. You head straight down from Sunshine Tidings, or if you carry on all the way up, you've got Sanctuary. So you can sort of just go straight down the map. Head in here, there's always, I think there's two legendary enemies in here. And you can get some good loot from it. I did the first bit of damage. Stalk it's 10 mil. If you're not in combat, yes. Increase VATS accuracy but cost more action points. That's kind of the worst one I've got out of all of these. I've got one that was a Karyo hunting rifle before. That's, I think, the best loot I've got. The incendiary 10 mil is pretty good, though. And we're going to speak to this guy. You are amazing out there, sir. This moisture is bad for my power. You handled yourself well. Sir! Okay. So. Power armor. Loads of calls. Killing. Nice and easy. Ooh, hey, oh, some more. Molotov. Never been down here. Some of them. Tool case, cameras, wrenches. There's a lot of junk in Fallout 4. But it's all so useful because you make guns and stuff out of it. Come on. Hammer and some duct tape. It just makes me think, you know, like in a, in an apocalypse, you just be the guy that's hoarding all the duct tape because you can make anything from duct tape. Yeah, sure. What part of that? I need a desk fan because it's got screws. Screws for guns. For mods, anyway. <laughs> Might do a crafting guide. Yeah, just just let me get out my power arm and I'll, I'll teach you how to craft. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> This thing. I want to get. I want to get this. The 50 cal. So I want to make the 50 cal, but I'm not got good enough three yet. Cause that'd be awesome. Uh, standard mags. Medium magazine. Medium scope. Like, yeah, I've got a long scope. Long scope is nice. I want to get a suppressor for it. Six aluminium. Make a suppressor out of it, so sort of just sit back and pick people off. That'd be pretty good. Kellogg's pistol. Actually, wait, that's kind of a spoiler if you've not seen anything. Because you sort of find out that in the story. I'm going to get out of here before I give any more spoilers about stuff. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode and hope you enjoy our content. Bye bye.